Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. It's not cute not knowing. I say it all the time. Come on in and get this hug as we're starting with a hug. Yesterday's conversation about Lenny Kravitz and Mariah Carey. Are they dating? Well, it could be a stunt. And I'm going to tell you why. Lenny and Mariah, they're both they both could be in this year's induction in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We won't find this out until May. Lenny Kravitz has a new project out, which is interesting because he is normally very quiet about his love life. As for Mariah, she likes leading these men around and she's been dating much younger men for quite some time. So this will be interesting and we'll keep an eye on it. Wendy Williams, Guardian. She's being much more vocal. And she recently said that Wendy's ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, was overpaid during the divorce. She claims that Kevin was given $112,000 more than he should have gotten. It made me giggle because this man... First of all, he needs to get a job. But this man is looking for more money. And now you're telling us that he was overpaid during the divorce. I don't know how wise a woman <laughs> she is or how street smart she is. She ain't getting that money back. That He's not going to give that money back. He wants even more money. So this money right here is money that he is not getting back. He wants more money. And I think he going to wait it out. But if she's thinking that this man's going to give her $112,000 back divorce money, no. Because he's too busy looking for future divorce money. Martin Corsese, one of the greatest filmmakers and directors of all time, is ready to tackle Frank Sinatra. I'm hearing that Leonardo DiCaprio is going to be playing Sinatra. Now, I don't know the color of Leo's eyes. I just know that he don't like to date women over 25. Is he going to wear blue contacts? And who going to do the singing? Harpo, who's singing this? Who play, who's singing Frank Sinatra? Because we don't know if Leo can sing. He can act. Oh, he's one of the greatest actors of our generation, but they're tapping him and actress Jennifer Lawrence would play Frank Sinatra's second wife, Ava Gardner. This is going to be an interesting project. Got two documentaries, one that I'm hoping is coming, The Luther Van Draws Never Too Much. It's going to be one of the featured projects at the Tribeca Film Festival in June. Now, usually with these film festivals, you got the big wigs. They're deciding, oh, should we take it so we can air it? We want to see this documentary. It's going to be very telling and very revealing about Luther Vandross, who's one of the greatest singers of our, of our generation. Will Amazon Prime or Apple TV, BET, HBO, <laughs> stars, somebody. Can somebody get this documentary? It's called Never Too Much. It goes into the details of his life. You know, Luther never came out of the closet. He never talked about his sexuality. He came from an era where there was no need. Luther gave us great music. I cannot wait to see this documentary because I think he died... Alone. I always wonder, did he ever get the love that he deserved? He was like 54. He was he lied there after a stroke for three days and he never recovered. And when he died like two years later, it was complications from the stroke. Love, love Luther. Um, I love getting a chance to play his music every day. But I really hope that somebody picks this up so we could see it. One documentary we are seeing, and this is on Amazon Prime, June 25th, is Celine Dion, another great performer. At 56, she is battling stiff person syndrome. What is that? Not many people have this in the United States, but it has kept her from performing. I don't know if she'll ever be able to 
perform again. She popped up at one of these award shows and she had to give an award to Taylor Swift and people thought that Taylor dissed her because she shocked everybody, the Grammys. Incredible voice for her to make this appearance, but this documentary is coming. It is called I Am Celine Dion. Do you guys have Red Lobster where you are? On the East Coast, I don't know if it's nationwide, but Red Lobster is huge. Them cheddar biscuits, they just announced that they're filing for bankruptcy. And people say, how, Sway? When people file for bankruptcy is to keep creditors away. With the rising cost of food, y'all know seafood ain't cheap. And with leasing properties and the rent is constantly going up and you can't pay the bills. You can't raise the quota. This gives them a chance to reorganize. Time Magazine really revealed their 100 most influential people. Well, they had the stars of the color purple there from Fantasia, Coleman Domingo, Taraji B. Henson, Philly Zone, Broadway star, Leslie Odom Jr., Kansas City Chief quarterback Patrick Mahomes, he made the list. African music star Burner Boy, just to name a few. That issue is on newsstands now. Would take some time to remember Arthur Tavares. Any fans of the music group Tavares? Tavares is when this group in the 70s that just had amazing dance hits. Never knew a love like this before. Don't take away the music. One of my favorites. Heaven Must Be Missing an Angel. A Penny for Your Thought. She's Gone. I'm thinking of all these songs because like, I'm, I'm going to do a tribute Sunday night. Tavares was an immensely popular group and Arthur was one of the founding members of Tavares. He had been battling ALS for years. He was 74 years old. ALS is so cruel because it just, just robs you of everything. In a statement that his family released, they were just glad that he was no longer suffering. But we remember Arthur Tavares, founding member of Tavares. He was 74 years old. Tomorrow, I got to find my notes. Y'all know I do a podcast, Patty, and the Millennials. And we talk about everything. And did you know, did you know that there are cheat codes that cheaters use? Yes, I'm going to expose it all because you should know. There are cheat codes. Nowadays with AI and this chat GPT, they're even sexting using chat GPT. Some people, because I don't want to say just men, some people have so many romantic partners, they give them each different ringtones so they'll know which ones are calling on the phone. It's becoming more and more common where people are having these open relationships. I'll just find another couple and we'll just all sleep with each other. It's a growing trend, I hear. But I, I got to find my notes, but we talk about it on the podcast. I'm the baby boomer. There's millennials and there's Gen X. There's men and women. The conversation is hysterical because they did not know these cheat codes. But I said, Andy going to teach y'all today. So I'm going to talk about it more. But the podcast is up. SoundCloud, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Podcasts, and of course, I Heart Radio Podcast, number one in podcast. It really is a great conversation, Patty and the Millennials. I did want to ask, several people reached out to me and said that they couldn't like certain videos I do because they had reached a like quota. YouTube, what is it? I, do, I don't know. You, I, you know, I'm just, I, this, this, my levels of fanciness only go so far. I never heard of that. YouTube, can you explain why a person couldn't like or there's a like quota? And if it's a like quota, when does it end? I'm looking to see and maybe somebody can explain it to me. It's not cute not knowing. And now you know. Hit that notification button so you will never, ever, ever miss a video. Leave a comment. I'd be surprising a lot of people. I do read the comments. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. But more importantly, subscribe to the channel. We're here.
and we're going to give you something some days, maybe shorter than the others, but you are guaranteed, guaranteed to get scoop every day. So subscribe to the channel. We are marching towards 100,000. Yes, Auntie wants her book. They give you this book, YouTube. I'm, I'm, I want my book. Thanks for joining me. It's like cute not knowing, and now you know. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.